There was a time when money transfers were relatively simple. I gave you a coin and then it was yours. Nice and easy. But transporting a lot of money became troublesome. Keeping money could be a problem too. Sending money to somewhere far away was an even bigger headache. So alternatives such as the check and a variety of credit notes emerged. And later on, the credit card. This created the need for a ledger. A place where transactions were recorded and everything was hopefully kept in order. This ledger was usually placed in a bank. And when it came to sending money, obviously the banks wanted to get paid for helping me send you a dollar. And they got paid well, and they still do. The current global revenue for confirming money transfers is $1.9 trillion. Sounds like a lot? Let me paint you a picture. If a dollar represents a second, a million dollars equals 11 days and $1.9 trillion equals more than 60,000 years. All that for telling that I gave some dollars to you or to my local hairdresser? Now, what if we did not need a bank with a central ledger to confirm these transactions? I mean, if a thousand people witnessed me handing you some money, that would also be a strong confirmation that the money belongs to you now. Well, that is the idea behind decentralized ledger technology. A network of a thousand computers confirming transactions instead of one computer at the bank. Tagion is such a network. It is open sourced and government as a common, meaning that if you contribute to the network in some way, you have a vote and say in its development and get a share of the transaction fee. Once Tagion is in full operation, it will function as a complete banking system, giving you all the opportunities to offer banking services with applications built on top of Tagion's own technology. With Tagion and its native currency Tagions, the end goal is to have a full monetary system that breaks down geographical and financial borders. It's a system that lets anyone anywhere send and receive money to everyone everywhere with the swipe of a thumb. And with that, giving money power back to the people and creating a more fair, inclusive, and democratic financial world.